Hi guys, it's Miranda back for another video. Um, today I will be talking about reviewing the Love Every Play Kit. Nine to ten months. So if you see my videos, you'll know my son was preemie. He was three months early. He so this is like um twelve to thirteen months if we go based on his corrected age but we do give him the kits like when we get them um so yeah to see like what he plays with what he doesn't and then if he doesn't get it he can just play with it later so yeah for this kit i actually lost my play guide which is like devastating to me i searched the whole house searched everywhere couldn't find it so we don't have that so i'm just gonna talk about these toys like from what I can um so I think I have three books here I think this is the one that comes in the box how I feel now this book he does not he didn't get it like you know he didn't get emotions like I feel like this is way too early to be introducing any kind of book with emotions before one years old um yeah that's just once again, love the diversity. Beautiful. I just feel like it was way too early of a kit for emotions. And then it came with this tip ball turn. He didn't get it um, whenever he got the kit, but he gets it now. Um, this. This little ring stacker. So, he has a bunch of other stackers um, that I feel like are way better. Like, if you would just want to get the regular Love Every stacker, I feel like that would be way better. If you want to get the regular stacker you can get on Amazon for, like, super cheap, it would be way better. This. All he wanted to do was pull the tube out and then you no longer have a stack because all, all, the, all the rings go everywhere. That's all he did with it. It was kind of frustrating. And then he would gnaw on the ranks. Like, I feel like this was a waste because this is like the majority of what the box is. So if I had to say I had a second least favorite kit, it would be this one. And it's probably just my child. Like some other kids would probably love this kit, but this, and I feel like a lot of this stuff is not age appropriate also as well. Like I feel like they did such good jobs and hit so hard with the other boxes. And what ages they were for. This one just no. And also I feel like they missed an opportunity. So this scarf came in this box. I feel like they missed an opportunity to have it with the um, peekaboo. Peekaboo book. Like why wasn't it in the same kit with the peekaboo book? So he loves this scarf actually. And um, he'll put it on her head. Be like peekaboo and he'll yank it off my face and I'll yank it off his face and we'll go peekaboo and he absolutely loves it but I feel like it was such a missed opportunity to have this with the book and when I display it on my shelf I display this next to the peekaboo book um next we have these blocks which you know blocks are difficult um He's still not really stacking them. He tries to stack them, but he's not really that steady, and they just come off, you know? So, um, yeah. At this age, he wasn't stacking them at all. But he was taking them and banging them together. He really likes noises, and um, he really he loved that. I do feel like one thing Love Every really misses, um, just in general, is music like there's absolutely no musical instruments anywhere um also this egg didn't get it whenever we opened the box but he gets it now he likes it but he also does think this is a ball and will try to switch it with the ball from the other kit um this ball right they look really similar and he calls it a ball and I try to tell him, no, it's an egg, it's an egg, on the egg. But he tries to, um, he thinks it's a ball still. Um, keys, love these keys, absolutely love these keys. 
Would have loved if they had come even earlier because the teething that he did on this, this was his favorite thing to teeth. It's nice and cold. And um, it's metal. And it's like, so it's like it really got in there and he was really able to teeth really good with it. Like, this was his favorite all-time favorite thing to chew and like I just wish we got it earlier because these are the best and I saw at the doctor's office we went to get my baby's hearing test and at the doctor's office a poor baby left their love every keys on the counter and I was like no that's so sad because like this is a big big like I'm sure that baby was just a teething away with them and they're just gone probably like that's so sad. Um, last thing I think, maybe? Uh, went through the key. Yeah. It's hard to keep track when I don't have my, um, my little play guide. So these, uh, cups, he could not even open one of them at this time, whenever he was, uh, the kit that they came in. Like, I feel like, again, this is just too advanced. Like, Everything is either too advanced or too early. Like, the time, this box, the timing is just wrong on all of these things. Um, but now, at a year, he can open this, close it. He can open this, close it. He cannot open this yet. We're working on it. He doesn't get the whole twisting thing. And then, this book. He loves this book. We talk about the babies and how they squish things. Mango squish, and uh, yeah, he loves that book, it's super cute. And he can actually hold it and flip it with his hands, like, he doesn't need my help to look at it to see the babies. So, we love that book. And then, this book, way too advanced, way too advanced. At a year, this is too advanced, like, he can't twist this, he like doesn't isn't gonna understand that little difference of the the seed poking out like he is starting to get like feeding the bunny the carrot um recycling what like no none of this no it's way too advanced like um he likes the dog. He knows what a dog is. So we play with the dog. But like other than that. This should have been like. A one and a half year old. Two year old book. Okay. Uh, that's it. So if there's a second book. that you, um, A second box. That you um, cannot get. Like if you can only get four out of the six. I would highly discourage this one. Um, the only really great things were the play scarf and the keys. You can buy little books other way, places. They have little books and later kits um, that they can hold with their hands and stuff. The next kit has a animal one, which he actually likes better because he loves animals so much. And then you can get like a play scarf. Uh, like the only thing in this box that was so good, like really was great was these keys. So, like, I don't know. And if you get the block kit, then you have blocks. You know what I mean? So, and we have the block kit. So, we have a zillion blocks. Um, but, yeah. So, that's my honest review of this play kit. We love, love every. And I love the play kits. And I'm glad I bought them all. But, if you cannot afford, you can only afford four. Skip out on the second one and skip out on the fifth one, which is this one, because they're the least, I feel like the least worth it and the least useful play kits. Okay. Uh, give me a like. Give me a subscribe, please. If you want to comment, you can comment. Thank you. Uh, see you next time. Bye.